Hey everybody and welcome back to class here at Move with Sable. Today we're going to be doing a 30 minute bar sculpt workout guaranteed to carve out definition in your core and your thighs. Now because this is a studio style workout, there's going to be some quicker transitions. If you're not familiar with the position, you're going to want to go check out some of my bar fundamental videos that walk you through setup and how to make the most out of your bar exercises. If you're checking out the channel for the first time today, thanks for being here. And here is where you will find fun, functional fitness routines using my favorite methods. I have been teaching bar in studio and privately for the last five years. Now I fell in love with the method, but what kept me involved was the ability, ability to endlessly create. And I hope that you enjoy what I've created for you here today. Let's get started with our warm up. So we're going to start lifting knees, long arms. Start to breathe. And we're going to twist here, elbows to knees, elbows to knees. Back in the front, nice and long. A twist. And count them down for three and two and one. Good job. Let's stretch that out. Reach tall. Plug those fingers into the sky. Take it down and stretch. And down. One more. All the way up. All the way down. Hold it here. Three, two, one. Roll those shoulders up and back. So we're going to take another minute getting kind of warm. We're going to do calf raises. So feet are squared underneath hips. We're going to hover our feet over the floor. Take it up. Two, down, two, up, two, down, two. So we're going to take some challenges during this workout. We're going to try not to use our support as much as possible. I'm using my bike. You can use a chair, you can use the back of your couch, your countertop at home. And make it pulse, pulse, yep. Warming up to the back of the leg. Five, four, three, two, hold it up tall for three and two and one. I'm going to turn to face the camera here. We're going to curtsy with our left leg. So we're going to curtsy and step. So this is what I mean. This is your first start to work, first challenge. Not using your support, not using your traditional bar. Because this class has still got that extra bit of core focus for you. Pull that knee up. Woo! A little bit extra balance. <laughs> now I realize some of this might not be you. If you're not here, you're here. You got it. We're gonna take two more. Two. And one. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Step in with the right. So everybody's starting right here. This tap. If you're trying to protect your knees, angle your toes where your knees are pointing. Now. Here comes that next level. Take it up. Perfect. Engage in those abs. If you're not here, you're here.
take one more. Perfect. We're going to take parallel position. Feet right under hips. Lift up into those highest heels. Tuck. Here. Lift. Down. Tuck. Lift. Down. Tuck. Lift. Tuck. Lift. So you're pulling those legs. Keep it going. Change it up. Push, push. Perfect. We got this. Turn just a little bit for you. So ears, shoulders, hips, and heels are in line right here. Knees are not flaring out. Five, four, three, two. Oh, I'll let go of my support just to tuck. Five, four, three, two, one. Well done, left leg, we're gonna take it back into a lunge. And we're still gonna work those abs. You're gonna hear abs a whole lot during this class. Step it back, pull it up, back, pull it up. If you're not here, you're here, all right? Burning up those legs. Take one more, you got this one. Pull that leg up in the front. Lift it, lift it. Three, two, one. Hold it, three, two, one. Well done, we're gonna take B position so our heels are together. Toes slightly turned out. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let that bead drive you right here. Yep. Pulse it, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, hands off, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, hold it here, 3, 2, 1, well done. Our right leg is going to step back into that lunge position. So right leg is going back. Knee up. Perfect. Take some big breaths. That sweat is starting to come in strong. You give me love now unconditional. My heart condition nearly critical. You make me stronger than I've ever been before. Now, if you need to scale this back just a little bit, there is a bar balance workout here. You can go a little bit more to your own pace with that video. Oh, that's a lot of the same moves. You can kind of build up your balance and your strength. Let's circle back around to this one with me. With that leg here. The feet. Three, two, one. Hold it up, good. We're gonna take that right leg back into arabesque, okay? So I'm soft bending my right, pointing out. No, that's left. Soft bending my left, pointing out with my right. Nice and tall. If you can take your hands off your support, suck it in right here. Perfect. Breathe. Get 
fancy with your arms. I'm always getting fancy. <laughs> I see right here. I'm flying higher with my own Romeo. Stepping wide into wide second position. Press to pull to. Press to pull to. We got it. Kind of pulling that power from the ground. Keep it going. Two more, here's two. And one. Keep it low, reaches, and reaches. So you're reaching into that inner thigh, into that ankle, getting those abs, and burning up through your pelvic floor. One more each side. Here we go. Lift it up. We're gonna take our bisque on the other side. So right side, soft bend. Pull it out. We're doing good. We're breathing, we're working. See, this is what I mean by that endless creativity. This is what I love right here, and I love bringing it for you. So if you were really digging this, go ahead and just punch that like right now. Let me hear you. Stay strong. Isolating right here. Find that inner dancer. Where is it at in there? Three, two, and one. We're back into that wide second position, but this time we're starting low. So dig in deep, and one here, and one hands up here, and one. So the momentum building, we're gonna add on right here. there. That fire is just getting ready and we're going to let it rip here. Stay low and take it to the side. Take it to the side. Yep. Keep it going. Perfect, pull that up. We're gonna take a balance pull. I'm gonna turn into my left. And pull up, straight back. Pull up, straight back. So if you're not here, you're here tapping. Tap and tap, tap and tap. Or you're taking that bigger. Pull, pull. You know, I love classic ballet bar, I do, but I also love to raise the bar right here and take it outside the box. Take one more, wherever you are. One more, pull it. Nice work. We're gonna step into this right leg. Then here, tap it up. 
So everyone reach and tap. Reach and tap. If you want that definition, I promised you, you've got to reach for it right here. We're going to add an extra balance and core. Oh, you didn't think I was going to let you get away with not doing extra right here, right? Pull it up. Take two more. Hold it. Oh gosh. One more. There it is. Stepping into that right for balance pull, okay? Sinking in. Pull it up. Reach it back. Pull it up. Reach it back. So remember, if you're not there, you're here. And here. Okay? You don't have to hover that pull. You can meet us right where you are. You can give just what you have to give. going. Take two more. Two. And one. Do you see that power? You got one more move. What if I told you this was your last minute? See, you can probably hear me breathing. It's, it's real. It's raw. The beautiful thing is though, this is all low impact. This is beautiful work for anybody that wants to work really hard, but keep it soft, keep it low impact, keep it easy on those joints. We've got about two more. Do it for you. Two. Here's it. Awesome. All right, let's stretch the back of the leg. Take it down toward those toes. We're gonna transition to the mat here in a few seconds. We we'll take that quad stretch. So while we're getting ready to transition, Go ahead and leave me a comment below how you feel right this second. Do you feel powerful? Do you feel like you're sweating gold? Tell me about it, I wanna hear. And let's transition to the mat work, okay? We're ready for our floor work here. We're gonna wrap up with like 10 minutes on the mat. We're gonna start with full plank position. Here we go. Push the weight out through those heels. Make sure you're flexing those hands into your mat. Push your body away from the floor. All that energy that you just built up standing, keep it here and use it. And we're gonna pull that left leg across your body for six reps. Six, five, four, three, Two, one. We're gonna take a little extra stretch here. Ah, it should feel nice after all that standing work. And we're gonna reach back and grab a hold of that quad. If you're not here yet, don't worry about it. Just leave the leg down. And we're gonna take it back into that high plank position. Three, two, one. Bring it up with me.
we're gonna pull that right leg across your body for six reps right here. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Stretch that out. Well done. Roll the wrists right here if you need to. Reach back and grab that quad if you can. And we're gonna take some push-ups on the knees. So hands are gonna be a little bit under shoulders, just to the edges of your mat. Knees nice and flat to support. We're gonna take about eight and then rest. So here we go. Let's take eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take a stretch, child's pose. Pull the fingertips long. Let's take eight more. So find that length in your hips and ribs and rib cage. Take eight. Two. One. Beautiful. Stretch that out. If you're not here with the push-ups and you have some dumbbells handy, you can swap these out for some lying chest presses. Take eight last. We've got three, and two, and one. Well done, stretch that out. Nice work, we're gonna walk our hands around and we'll pull towards you. And then we'll pull the other way. And then we got forearm planks, so elbows here. Let me show you level one on the knees. And here's level two, off the knees. Now if you're just building some core strength back for whatever reason, um, I've got a great video, the dynamic core flow, but it's a modified version. So you'll find lots of options there to build your core strength from the ground up. We've got 30 more seconds. Take your mind somewhere else. Squeezing thighs, squeezing glutes. Tell those shoulders to shut up. <laughs> 10 seconds left. And big stretch. Big stretch, well done. Hold that right arm underneath. Superman lifts, so I'm gonna lay it down. Go ahead and play a rim, so I'm gonna take a front lift and a side lift with my arms. Watch me breathe out on the way up. This is where you get some good posture. Keep your chin tucked in just a little bit. Now leave those arms out front. We're going to swim. Big stretch. Child pose. I'm gonna get back into some abs here, so I'm gonna face you. We're gonna take kneeling windmills, all right? So I'm gonna start with my left leg out like this. And 
we're gonna reach. So one leg, is, one arm is over. We're reaching towards your thigh. Here, okay? Let me punch my timer. So reach it over. Try and keep that arm straight. Those up in tight. Really fun that contraction right here. And stretching on the other side. Cool. Oh, good. Getting those legs. This is what you do those lines on the of your body. One more time. Nice. I'm gonna pull those shoulders back right here. Bring your left knee in. Right leg out, same thing on the other side. Pull it over and lift. Let it be the first thing. Let it be the first Reach. thing. Pull. Let it be the first thing. Level one, if you want to sit down. Or we're going to lift it up. Lift it up. Bending. 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 So in the beginning, I promised some definition in your core and your thighs. I tricked you. I left out arms. You're getting everything here today in under 30 minutes. Three, two, and one. Nice job. We're going to peel it back onto the elbows here. We're going to take double toe taps from the curl up position. We're working at bring your on the floor. Take them down. Pull them up. Pull them up. And lift. So keep your low back, kind of rock it back up towards your ribs. Chin sunk in just a little. Those knees lifted. We're gonna alternate one out and the other one out. So your depth here is up to you. I'm kind of hovering all the way down to the floor, but you can stay up here. Okay. One more each leg. Perfect. Hips in. We're going to go ahead and sit it up. Rock it back. Shoulders up, down and back in curl pose. So we're going to twist in our curl today. It looks like this. We're going to take it back and twist. Back and twist. Beautiful. Beautiful. 
So we're getting 360 degrees of core work today. It's a beautiful thing. One more twist to the left. Now hold it center. Hold it center as you peel it back. Peel it back. Ah, nice. Let's hug those knees up. Let's take a stretch. Nice work. Take that leg across your body in the front. Other way, careful with this if you have a low back issue. And let's sit on up. Then reach toward those toes. Let's take our left knee up. So right arm is gonna cross twist. Other side, right leg up and twist. And then open the bottom, the bottom of the feet together, open up the inner thighs and hips. Butterfly to stretch. Let me come center for you guys. I'm gonna stack up ankles and shins, really open up the hip, and we're gonna pull the shoulders up, down and back, push your chest forward, and then come forward over the shins to really feel this pull body back here. Stack the other way. Thanks so much for joining me for this full class today. Hope you enjoyed the energy as much as I did. Let me know in the comments, have you done bar like this before? Where have you done bar before? Pull those shoulders back here. Relax those legs, take your head to the side. Nice work. Thank you all so much for being here today. Mad love for joining me. I'll see you next time.